fish industry is a very important part of the Nantucket lifestyle and is a big job for the Marine Department. There is more to the job of a shellfish warden than just the scallopers. They have a job all year round. He has to monitor scallops, conch, oyster, quahog, softshell clams, and surf clams. Throughout the year, they will get to know the scallopers and develop a relationship with them because he will see them every day and most of the time knows them by name and by vehicle and boat. The Marine Department uses the office and dock at 34 Washington Street, just outside of town. Both receive a fair amount of wear and tear on them, so they need renovations. After the big winter storm, it was obvious that the office would need new drywall, drywall so that was replaced and everything was remodeled. The dock currently used by the town was constructed in the 1970s and was holding its own for its old age. But after the winter storm, there were some apparent restorations that needed to be done. The department replaced many boards, ladders, and many other pieces of the dock. They are now lobbying to try and replace the old relic with a newer version. Since it is a department based on the water, there are a lot of boats in use. They are all, all important, expensive, and require maintenance to be kept in tip-top shape. All the boats use Yamaha engines anywhere from 100 to 250 horsepower. That is the power of an average sized car so they are expensive and the marine department takes good care of all of them. Over the winter it may seem like there is less to do for the marine department, but it is just as busy as the heart of the summer. Besides taking care of all the business of all the shellfish, there are many projects that are going on to make the job run more efficiently. A trailer was donated to the department within the last year. It was used to create a new trailer to transport pieces of the floating dock. With the excellent carpentry skills of Mr. Blount and Mr. Johnson, a beautiful piece of equipment came out of recycled materials. When Miss Lucy took over the lifeguard program, there was talk around the island of how it was being turned around. Last summer was a great one for the program. With watchful eye of Miss Lucy, the lifeguards are on their way to being some of the best in the country. That success has not happened out of nowhere. There are many hours behind the scenes of prepping for the season that most people do not see. The provisions of medical supplies were checked and rechecked to make sure that there would be ample supply for the first day of the summer season. The living quarters of the lifeguards also went under construction because everyone knows that a good sleeping habit lends to a good worker.